All right, cubic graphs look generally like this if they're positive. Okay, if they're negative, they look like that. Okay. Now, we used intercept method when we were talking about quadratics. The same process applies here. So if you have an equation, y equals x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, okay, we use the null factor law. We know they're the x-intercepts. All right, so x-intercepts are 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so we're going to sketch that. Okay, it's a positive, x times x times x is x cubed, so it's positive. So it's going to start low and go high. It's going to cross at 1, 2, and 3, so it's going to cross at 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, the other thing we need to work out is the y-intercept. Okay, how are we going to work that out? Negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3, okay, is negative 6. That's it. Okay, you need the x-intercepts and the y-intercept, and that's all you need for sketching that graph. Okay, so it's easy when they're in this form. Yet again, they're going to give you questions where you have to go through the whole factorization process uh, through long division to get your three brackets. Then you'll be able to sketch it. Okay, so let's have another look at a different example. Let's have a look at... 1f, which is x minus 3 squared, x minus 6, okay? So according to the null factor law, my two intercepts are 3 and 6. So where's the third intercept? There isn't one, all right? When you've got a squared, okay, when you've got one intercept squared like we have there, it means it touches at that point. So when I sketch this graph, Okay, it's positive again. It's going to come up, it's going to touch at 3 and go back through 6. So here's 3, here's 6. Okay, we need to find the y-intercept, which is minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9, times minus 6, which is negative 54. Okay, so that's all it is. So if you've got um, just x minus a x minus b and x minus c, then it crosses at a, b and c. Okay, so this is just a little bit of little bit of wording stuff for what we've just done. If you've got x minus a squared, x minus b, then it crosses at b and touches at a. Okay, so that's how that works. So you should be able to do all of exercise 3H using that information there.